Well, Liam, well, I normally would say if when you, you come to a game and, and a match against the side who are pushing for promotion and normally the game plays out in a different way, but total dominance in that first half. And I said in commentary, that's the best pressing performance I've ever seen from a Hull City team. Well, thank you. Uh, credit to the players. Um, the energy they showed, the fact that we press man to man all over the pitch, the fact that sometimes Jacob Greaves and Alfie, who were tremendous, were one for one on the back line in, in oceans of space because we wanted to be brave. I want a brave team. Um, we showed bravery in the way that we played out from the back. We showed bravery in terms of the way we kept the ball. We showed bravery in the way that we pressed the game. And yeah, I'm very, very proud man tonight, but we have to keep this form going. We cannot get carried away. Um, we have to rest up, recover, and make sure we go again for a huge game on Saturday. In it, bizarrely, though, at half-time, even though we looked so comfortable, the scoreline showed that it could have actually been more comfortable. It, Southampton could have been even more shocked, couldn't they? It could have easily been three or four. It could have been, but when you play a team, Southampton, a fantastic team, fantastic players. I think Russell's a fantastic manager. You have to, I said to the lads at half-time, um, I'm not going to say well done yet because I think we could have been even better, which is a great thing, but we have to make sure that that performance level is our minimum or our benchmark. Of, of our performances moving in for the rest of the season and again uh, don't get too carried away when we win don't get too carried away when we lose just keep working really really hard to improve and I have to say um, that every single member of the squad contributed because training was magnificent yesterday from the players who weren't starting the game there's a really good spirit there's a sacrifice there's a there's a the players can see the bigger picture now, that it's not just about them, it's about all of us getting to somewhere we want to be. And I've got to thank the players for their for engagement the last week, they've been tremendous. Yeah, and that's something that the fans possibly don't see, unless yeah. obviously we make that. You, when the players have been coming out of the tunnel after what you've said to them at full time, even if they haven't played, even if they yeah. haven't been picked, smiles and high fives, etc. Yeah, and that's the culture that we wanted, we've tried so hard to develop in, in my time here, is selflessness, a lack of ego and I felt it was in our performance today because the lads just absolutely worked themselves into the ground you know the pressing this to tr uh, people speak about Fabio or Anas or Jaden um, as players they're outstanding footballers but their mentality to want to press to want to run in football you have to run it doesn't matter if you're a passing team it doesn't matter if you're a direct team the fundamentals of football is that you have to run and for all my players to do that away from home today it gives me a lot of confidence moving forward so many different players could have been man of the match and that's the perfect thing you want as a manager we're, yeah. we're standing here and we can't pick one person for in my opinion to be yeah. the standout give the, give the team man in the match that's that's the best most pleasing aspect for me as a manager uh, Mika Sari comes back I trust him I trust him with my life to put him straight back in his performance was magnificent you know he's going to help us in terms of our control we can slay it what performance from him and then if you look at the bench now I've got options so Ozan was really unfortunate not to start the game I can bring him on Adama Traore Tyler Morton can come on we wanted to build a real squad and a, and a group ethic and uh, yeah I'm proud of every single one of those players today yeah. and I know that we're as many in number given obviously the distance but when I was obviously working away and watching that match all I could hear for the most part oh. was them in the corner yeah they sounded like 4,000 uh, I have to thank them to come here on a Tuesday night, what's the round trip? 500, 500 miles? 500, That's like, yeah. Thank you to every single person that turned up and showed up for us today. I'm so proud of them as well. Uh, now let's, let's get that home atmosphere going. You know, let's stick with this young team. We're going to make mistakes because we're young and we're a new group as well. You know, we, we you look at the, the team today, uh, Abdouche, what, what a full debut that is. You know, uh, Jaden's uh, back after three months. It's at Fabio's fifth game and that's his third or fourth game. This team, Jilo, has come in three or four games. It takes time, but the way they've come in and the way they've performed gives me so much heart for the future. And the one thing that everyone will praise you on as well and the coaching staff is the fact you've got players such as Jaden, such as Abdouche, who are so attack minded but when you see Jaden literally almost side by side with Louis Coyle with yeah. 20 minutes to go shows the camaraderie the effort spirit. and the energy level spirit is spirit I asked them for two things today I asked them for spirit and quality I think we showed spirit in the last game at Huddersfield I said spirit won't be enough today we need to show our quality we need to combine the both of them and every single player you know just gave everything but some of the football that we played as well you know the bravery to play out from the back we beat their press in the first half numerous numerous times and they're a very very good pressing team I think Russell's done a magnificent job so as a benchmark a really good performance but for me it doesn't mean anything if we don't back it up on Saturday things like cup finals and playoffs obviously stand out but in terms of regular league games either as a player or a manager where does this win stand yeah it feels good I don't like to 
speak about where it stands. I'd rather it just that it's about a point accumulation for me. This is just a step towards where we want to get to. Uh, and uh, hopefully in, in the summer I can have a nice rest and sit on the beach and look back on days like this. But I haven't got enough time. Uh, we got a, we got another game in a few days. We got to recover. We got to rest. We, as a coach staff, we have to analyze another outstanding team in West Brom and make sure we get the game plan right for that one.